Hey, hey, my internet shippers. My name is Buddy Game, and welcome to an unboxing. Uh, now, um, this right here, we, we got something pretty amazing here. It's a, it's a pretty sweet replica of uh, a Michael Keaton Batman grapnel launcher. This, this looks absolutely amazing. This is from NECA. Okay, look, this, it's, it's like a, uh, a life-size uh, working grap grapnel gun. Oh man, I'm very, very excited to open this. So, um, I'm a huge fan of Michael Keaton. And, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very excited to open this. So, it's actually called the Grapnel Launcher, not Grapple Gun. You know, I guess that's what most Batman fans thought it was called. No, it's called a Grapnel Launcher. So, yeah, this looks exactly like how it is in the movie. So, I found this at Target and, uh, like, I, I just saw it, I had to buy it, you know? I was going nuts. I was, I, I was trying to find a price on this. I was like, how much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? So, uh, I bought it for like 30 bucks. So, yeah, this is pretty amazing. So, we got the Michael Keaton uh, shiny Batman logo there. Um, this is for ages 14 and up. Warning, choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three. Good. Uh, okay, so on the sides here, yeah, same things. Get the logo down here. Uh, so uh, this right here, it acquired uh, some batteries I never heard of before, battery size N. So um, uh, I found these at Home Depot, you know. Uh, so um, I actually bought two packs of these, you know, in case if one, uh, one pack never dies. So um, yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. So uh, not sure how far it goes once you launch it. Uh, back here, it, it just shows what it can do. So um, it says here it's got a, a un, an old f unfold unfoldable handle unfoldable. Yeah. So uh, I actually had no idea the gravel launcher had that. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, warning: Do not aim at eyes or face. Noted. Um, it also says here, reset by securing grapnel into locking cylinder. Ah. Okay. Uh, retract grapnel and launch grapnel. So yeah, that's how it works. Okay, let's open this bad boy up. Let me just put this uh, uh, Michael Keaton Batman wheel there and bring out the Christian Bale knife. Nice. Um, how do you, okay. Yeah. All right, let's open this bad boy. Here we go. Yeah. Get out of here. Oh, oh, there it is in all of its glory. Wow, this looks absolutely amazing. Oh, I think my dad would really like to see this. So, oh, never mind. Yes, here we go. The Grapno Launcher. Oh, wow. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh, okay, so. Where do I put the ah, batteries go there? So if I could, I need a smaller screwdriver. All right, got one. So up, we need to put it back up. Oh, how do you get this? Ah, hold on. All right, fine. Got it. Let's open the batteries. Energizer size N. Okay. Please fit. Please, I do not want to go back to the store. It's been a long day. Okay, perfect fit. Yay! Yeah! Let's go! Now to screw this back up. Uh get on there. Thank you. Oops, no. Oh, wow. Wow, you're gonna do this to me now, huh? Thank you. Now, uh, retract. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is too good. Oh, I love this. So yeah, this thing's got some nice uh, texture detail here. Yeah, this looks exactly like in the film. Like, uh, so 
Yeah, this, this, this looks very nice. Okay, so, um, yeah, oh, okay, so, uh, so I saw it like this when um, Batman uh, got it from his belt. So, like, I didn't see a handle, I just, I saw it like this, so, yeah, that, that must be how I actually had no idea if there was a foldable handle here. Oh, wow, that's so cool. So, yeah, this, this hook looks real nice and shiny gold, nice. It looks really good. I already got finger prints mode on there. Yeah. Oh well. So, not sure what these two things are. Uh, not sure if it's like a little aim thing here. Um, so it looks like we got a little. Uh, I actually don't know what these little spinny things are called on guns. And right here, I believe this might be streamlined. Who knows? And we got a little bit of screws on there. So yeah, this is Wayne Technology. I'm holding right here. Okay, so, I'm about to try and launch this. See how far this goes. Uh, I did watch a little review video saying that it goes three feet away. Ah, oh, I should have brought a tape measure with me. Eh, oh well, I can, I can try and see how it's parking out. So, here we go. All right, uh, actually, you know what? I'll try to hit something there. So, in three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! This is three feet! Oh! It is three feet! Wow! Nice! Alright, we check. Yes! Yes! Oh, I love this! Alright, I'm gonna try and hit something now. Alright. Sayonara. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is too perfect. Now, let me try and bring the box over here. Uh, if I can try to... Nope. Get, get back up there. Woo! Go. Oh. This hook. All right. All right, let me just, just try right here then. All right. Yeah. Oh. This is amazing. I love this. I love this a lot. All right. Yes. This is too good. You know, I was kind of really hoping that it would come with like a a little stand where uh, you um you you where you like if you want to put it on the shelf, um, or you could just do this. You know, use the handle for a little stand. Yeah, this is nice. And uh, yeah, it's kind of got like a nice little grip here. Like you can just put two of your fingers down here. Let's do that again. Uh, oh, this, this is too good. All right, yeah, you gotta retract it all the way before you can relaunch it. So yeah, this is amazing. Oh, I love this. I gotta test this out sometime to see if I can actually climb up the building. Nah, it's, it's not that strong. I mean, it's kind of uh, some weak uh, string here. Still, this is amazing. I love it. Love it a lot. Oh, jeez, my parking bag is still out loud. I forgot to close that. Okay. All right. Well, that is the Michael Keaton Batman Grapnel Launcher. Grapnel Launcher. Grapnel, not grapple. Okay. So. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Have an awesome day. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. Batman Collector Mask. Oh man, this looks so cool. This is a Michael Keaton mask. Oh wow, this will look great with the, the grapple launcher. Let me just grab it real quick. Ah, got it. 
I actually revealed this in my previous video. Okay, so uh, I just went to Walmart. Yes, you all saw, that's where I found that. Uh, there were also uh, Ben Affleck and uh, Christian Bale masks there before, but uh, they kind of sold out. So let me just close my blinds a bit since this is kind of hard for you guys to see. Um, yeah, hold on. If I can, maybe I should turn this light off on my phone. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You get a much uh, cleaner shot of this. Yeah, so this is nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is from Ruby. So, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Um, now, I know what you're thinking. This seems like a crappy cow. Well, don't let that fool you. This is not what the the actual product looks like. No, no. That's, that's just a photo. Uh, on the side here, we got the new 52 Batman. Uh, this says limited edition, made with... Kaleon, Kaloin clay, I don't know how to say it. Handcrafted from sculpture to finish. Individually uh, painted. Yeah, nice. Uh, same thing on this side. Oh, same thing on there too, in the photo. So we got a little Batman photo that's upside down. <laughs> uh, nothing on the bottom. Now, uh, what the, now, once I open this up, you guys are gonna be amazed. This looks nothing like this crappy photo right here. This actually looks pretty amazing. Now, let's take this bad boy out. If I could, there you go. Yeah. Woo, here it is. Okay, so it's a much, much cleaner mask. Uh, so yeah, it looks nothing like the photo. It's an actual Michael Keaton replica mask. So let me just turn the light back on. Yeah, there you go. All right, so uh, my dad actually just gave me this glass head that he had somewhere hidden. Uh, he said I should put this mask on there, but before I do, I actually wanna try this on first. All right, okay, here's a mask. This looks pretty amazing. I kept asking my dad to try this on, but uh, he he does, he really doesn't want to. I mean, look at this, it looks amazing, yo. Like, every time I, like look around this, I keep thinking of Val Kilmer's Batman because his cowl had a much smoother detail or Batman Returns, who knows? Uh, so yeah, yeah, look at this. All right, so uh, I feel like I might need black makeup around my eyes, but that doesn't matter, so. Uh, right here. It says um, DC and Warner Brothers made in Mexico. Made in Mexico, oh wow, okay. Yeah, so we got the Michael Keaton logo right here. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's put this bad boy on. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can tell this was definitely sculpted just by looking at the inside. So whoever made this, whoever made this, did a pretty fantastic job. Whoever works at Ruby's definitely needs a raise. Okay, so. Uh, ow. Ow, my hair. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it on. Woo! Look at me, I'm a Michael Keaton. Oh, this looks amazing. I need to fix my hair, it's getting in my eyes. Uh, I don't want it to ruin the shot. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. I think I do need black makeup. Uh, my eyes. Okay, so this looks absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. I just look like a regular Batman. I don't look like Michael Keaton. So yeah, we got some real nice sculpting detail on this cowl here. I love it. I love it a lot. Ooh, wow, this looks really nice. So yeah, it like goes all the way down to your shoulders with these little things here at the bottom. We got the logo that goes on the, like above your chest more. Uh, hold on. All right, yeah. My dad needs to try this on. If it could fit on his head, who knows. So uh, it's even got like little holes for your, so you can breathe through the, yeah. You, you can breathe through your nose on this. Yeah, nice. But uh, I feel like I should breathe through my mouth. I don't know why. So uh, yeah, um, very much like Michael Keaton, you can't like turn your head or else 
it'll do this, you know? You can't, you can't turn your neck. So you, you have to turn your entire body with your head. You have to do this. You gotta do this. Yeah, just look up. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's get a little comparison with the uh, Lego Batman cowl here that I have here. Um, hmm. Yeah, nice. Looks nice. I know what I'm gonna be for Halloween, which is like, I don't know, seven months? Uh, that's just a random guess. Okay, so, just months away. With this, my dad said he was once uh, Michael Keaton Batman for Halloween when he was like in high school. He was actually once uh, Jack Nicholson once the movie came out in 1989. Uh, he was a kid. Uh, uh, yeah, this looks amazing. <laughs> oh, I love this. Woo! I'm Batman. Yeah. Okay, so, gotta take this thing off. If I can't, big boo. Uh. Ah! Mm. That hurt my hair. Ow. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I feel like I may need to fix my hair the next time I plan on putting this on. Or I should just shave it off completely. So, here's the glass head. Let's put this on. Alright, let's just uh, slide this on. If I can. Yeah. Uh, um, so I guess rubber can't slide on glass. Uh, even though that's what his suit's made out of. Black rubber armor plating. In Batman Returns, it, it looks like armor plating. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, a little too big for the last head, but still, it looks pretty fantastic, you know? Still looks fine. Yeah, I mean, you got the logo down here, uh, along with this grapnel launcher. I'm just gonna fire at it. Oh, <laughs> wow, I got it over the head, nice. Uh-oh, yeah. You wanna see a review of this? Uh, check out my next video. All right, well. That is all I got for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Have an awesome day. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. Hey, hey, my internet troopers. My name is Bio Game, and welcome to this amazing Batarang replica unboxing. Now, here we have the 1989 Batman Batarang replica. Now, this looks absolutely amazing. I like, I really like this box design. It's very similar to the Retinal Launcher, which I already have out. Uh, now, my dad actually ordered this off eBay and uh, he kind of surprised me. Yeah. So uh, he thought maybe it'd be a good idea to use this for my uh, Batman costume that I'm gonna be wearing on Halloween, 1989 Batman. So uh, the suit's near a completion, um, or complete, complete, I, I don't know how, if I said it right. So uh, I just need to finish something for the shoes and uh, it will be ready to go. And he thinks I should carry some gadgets with me and uh, I'm gonna try to, so we have this, Batarang here. So I already reviewed that uh, grapnel launcher in the back. I got a mask from uh, Walmart and uh, Yeah, we got this so uh, I, th uh, I don't know what that says Mo movie detailing. Uh, yeah, seven across uh, Includes display stand. Ooh, nice. They guess I guess they should have done that for the launcher uh, a magnetic extending and folding feature nice so yeah, this is also from NECA. Uh-huh. Got this nice uh, 89 logo here. Nice. All right. I really, really like the boxes. I Oh, choking hazard. Yeah, for ages uh, 14 and up. Great, perfect. Where did I put my, uh, uh, you know what? I got a much better idea. We gotta try and use this. It's a fidget spinner battery. So uh, let me see if I can try to Cut this. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, that really works. Woo! All right. Okay. Ooh, nice. Oh, wow. Nice. That is so. 
Ooh. Okay, I don't know. I can't tell if that's like metal or plastic. I'm trying to feel it. Uh, feels like a really hard plastic. All right, so, oh, this thing's made out of plastic. Here's the display stand. Oh, it says Batman on there. Yeah, nice. Let's put that over there. Let's see if I can try and get this out. Hopefully this thing's not sharp. No, it's made out of plastic. Uh, really hard plastic and it, oh, it is plain. Oh, well, there's a replica. So, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, this looks absolutely amazing. I was kind of hoping this would come with like some kind of rope, you know, like in the film, like uh, in the beginning. But no, nah, I, I like this. I really like this. So I need to figure out how I'm going to put this on the belt. Uh, so, yeah, this is really nice detail here. This looks exactly like the one in the film. Got this nice, shiny, sharp edge here. I suppose like cut the victim. Not sure who designed this for the film. This looks really amazing. I like this. Yeah, so yeah, this is like the actual size of the battering itself, I think. So let me see if I, I can fold it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that folds pretty easily. Ooh. Oh, yeah, magnetic. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at that magnetic. Uh, yeah, see that? Just, ooh, nice. I really like that. So now we got a battering, a cowl, and the, the launcher. And the suit is 90% complete. I just need to finish something for the shoes, like I said. Um, and uh, yeah, oh, let's put it on the display here. Nice, real cool. Now, I uh, did find this, Oops, what is that? Uh, I did find a little glass box here for the launcher, so I just need to uh, take that out and just leave it like this for now, for safekeeping. Let's get, whoops. I would test it out to throw it, you know, to see if, uh, how well it can do, but, um, Nah, I mean, this, this thing's like made out of plastic, so I, I don't want it to like break or anything. So, yeah. All right, that is all I got for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Have an awesome day, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Okay, tomorrow is Halloween, and uh, my uh, Batman costume is finally finished, so I'm gonna review it. All right, to start off, we got these little uh, shin guards I made out of cardboard. Now, uh, these turned out pretty well. I really like it, so. Uh, was able to get it in a round position here. Found some straps here, like uh, flexible. Found all this at Walmart, as you can see it says right here. Um, got this nice little uh, arrow pattern here. Uh, I think that's what you got, since the original suit had, uh, they were actually Nikes custom Nikes with um, added shin guards and uh, this little thing here uh, my brother actually made see like uh, I was trying to get this to like uh, a little bendable kind of thing and uh, apparently he came out with this idea and uh, worked out pretty well and to go with those shin guards got these old boots here that my dad found that look pretty amazing that these would work pretty well Nice, I really like this. I like little straps on the back here, yeah. This will definitely work out. Just gonna put one of these over here. See, these are meant to cover the laces. All right, now here we have the gauntlets. Oh, whoops, this, this is on backwards. All right, so yeah, these, these gloves, they came from uh, Harbor Freight and uh, these like little uh, gauntlets. Uh, on the gloves, uh, so all made out of cardboard, yes. Um, so it wasn't really that easy to make, but I finally got it to work out. So we got these uh, three spikes here. We got like two little lines here that I've seen in the photos. Um, I was able to get it through the glove here. So if I could just put this on, yeah, like that.
All right, here's the belt for the two gadgets, the battery and the uh, grapnel launcher. So yeah, uh, my dad found this belt at uh, eBay. Um, this little thing here, I actually made from the cardboard because uh, underneath there's like this little uh, Batman symbol underneath and uh, thought it'd be a good idea to make it look more movie accurate. So uh, got that. Now we got this uh, little hook thing here for the launcher. Just gotta put it in there, just slide it on through. And I can easily, like, I can easily carry it around. Now for the battering, uh, we couldn't find a pouch, but we found this uh, strap here. You just gotta pull it, so I can get this. Nice. Now uh, there is super glue underneath. It didn't really stick that well, so I had to add some extra tape on there to make sure it doesn't like fall off or anything, because I don't want to lose this. So this here is supposed to be the black suit. Got like a little long sleeve black shirt and this stretchy black pants. This thing is really comfortable. Got all this from Walmart on Claire's. Just gotta tuck the shirt in the pants. That's good. Now, uh, here's the, you know what? I think I should put the belt on first. Now, before I put the gauntlets on, I'm actually gonna put that on last because they're much easier to uh, put on. Like, with, without the gloves on, it's much easier to put everything else on. So I'm gonna do that last. All right, so we got this cape from Spirit Halloween. I really like this one. There was a lot of Batman capes, but this one worked out way better. So I'm just, uh, Walmart, Rubies, Mask. Okay, pretty much most of this here. Almost everything here is from Walmart. So, just put this on. Okay. Ah. There we go. Might need to put some black makeup around my eyes. Yeah. There we go. Oh, we got my cape stuck in there. It's all done. Oh. It's all done. 